All right, guys, welcome back. Ethereum had another core dev meeting on June 10th, 2022. Uh, looks like they have discussed the difficulty bomb, the Ropstein network test, Roopstein network test they, uh, they were running and uh, whether to uh, announce a merge or delay the difficulty bomb further. And uh, this is from their dev meeting. So in summation, it looks like the Roopstein test network went okay. No major, major showstoppers. They have some issues to fix. And uh, they do discuss the basic logistics of software development. You know, you keep piling on fixes and fixes that you want to fix right away, you find. But then that can also burn out the devs. And then they discuss the best strategy moving forward to uh, do nothing, delay the bomb, or, you know, whatever. And who should announce the merge? Uh, one dev even says he doesn't care about perception of the world on the merge and that maybe devs should not announce a merge date. So well, watching this, it's... It, it's clear that there doesn't really seem to be like a Steve Jobs on this, this Ethereum platform uh, project. I mean, who's the guy running the ship? Uh, seems like the devs are doing what they got to do, but are they steering the ship? And that usually is never a good idea having the engineers steer the ship. You basically go to engineers saying, I want this done by this date. Can you do it? And I don't get the sense that they have a Steve Jobs type guy on this, uh, this whole project. Uh, just some devs trying to work together and get stuff done. Each have their, obviously have their own opinions on how best to proceed. And that's, that's kind of concerning. And I'm telling you again, nothing, nothing about this whole project is making me feel good about being an Ethereum uh, holder of the coin, of the uh, altcoin. It's an altcoin. And uh, it's just seeing how this is rolling. I'm just kind of figuring out what they're doing, whether I keep my GPUs running or not. And at this point, yes, yes, I'm keeping the GPUs up and running because they, uh, I think, are delaying the difficulty bomb by a few months. And you'll see here, as, uh, as I say this, I just want to show the video and give you the highlights of the video. And I'll play it at 1.5 speed for your listening enjoyment pleasure. So not as to drive you totally bonkers, listen to a, a bunch of techies on a Zoom call. Uh, yeah, so it looks good for miners for now. Keep mining. Keep mining till you can't mine. Uh, yeah, and go forth. Let's do 1.5 speed. Bring this puppy up. And uh, again, it is 1.5 speed. They just talk slow, and it's torture. So let's roll. Also, we can, we can degrade uh, when we think more or less the merge should happen. And, uh, and mid-August was that target for now. Uh, so please have a look at the IP5133. I agree also that we shouldn't really announce the date of the merge um, until we know exactly what the terminal total difficulty is because people will make a lot of decisions and preparations based on that date. So we have to be absolutely sure of at least that like days or a week when it happens before announcing. Uh, we are not sure yet. Um, they removal of the bomb i think that it puts us at some risks in case some um, uh, particularly uh, unexpected event happens where the delay is significant and then we lost day and the bomb that so far i believe always worked uh, for having everyone prepared for releases and for acting uh, so once again i don't think that delaying the bomb delays the merge i think it simply says that the bump already started happening. We already missed uh, the previous estimate over in June. Uh, this one simply moves it to our current plans uh, of mid-August. Thanks, Thomas. Um, I don't know who of Andrew or Ben was up first. Um, I guess, yeah, Andrew, you want to go first and then, then we'll do Ben. Uh, yeah, sure. So I, I think that delaying the bomb is the best option. I don't think that it sends a, a bad signal, it actually sends a good signal that we are doing the responsible thing, that we want uh, to, uh, like to we, we don't want to rush the merge with uh, code that uh, that is not uh, ready. So it, we kind of moving the bomb to a realistic date uh, and uh, it does synchronizes uh, our schedule with uh, the bomb. and. Doing nothing would be actually be irresponsible because then it'll hurt the throughput of the network and uh, 
kind of some kind of I don't see a point some silly political game I, I don't get it so I would delay the bomb okay. thanks uh, Ben yeah I um, disagree with uh, your point Tim and others have made about not announcing a date um, let me uh, and I don't understand logic the let me explain why if what I think we need is a sense of urgency. I'm not really perceiving a sense of urgency about getting this done. Um, there are very real costs associated with not doing the merge. 130,000 tons of carbon dioxide every day. It's nearly a million tons a week. Every week we twiddle our thumbs. That's a megaton of carbon dioxide uh, that we're emitting. The, this is this is a very serious uh, issue. So. Where do we get a sense of urgency from? Well, the bomb is a very powerful sense uh, of urgency uh, currently, um, though that the timing may not be ideal. Uh, but I think we owe it to ourselves uh, and we benefit strongly as a distributed community to um, set some other mechanism by which it uh, gives us a target. So things happen in this community when we have a target to work to. This is my observation. Uh, this inculcates a sense of urgency that make, get, gets things done. And I've seen it so many times uh, in, in Ethereum world. So I would propose if we do delay the bomb, we also commit at that point to a time frame for delivering this thing. Yeah, I think, I think that... So this Tom guy, he threw out this, oh, we're dropping lots of carbon as we delay, which is pure BS. Uh, he's probably one of these eco guys who really believes the narrative about, oh, it's hurting the world. It's like, it's not, guys, come on. Uh, that's that's what I just want to add there. But he does say a good point about sense of urgency to get something done. Again, goes back to my point where uh, I do not think anyone's driving this boat, and it's just a bunch of core devs saying what they can get done. But there's no real leadership. There's no real alpha chat in there, guiding these beta software guys into the future, into getting stuff over the finish line. Uh, been there, done that, seen a group of guys. You do need a bull in a china shop sometimes, whether you like it or not, and I most times didn't like it, but they did get stuff done and they forced the team to get stuff done. And they you know, they broke a lot of china. But uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. So let's keep rolling here for a few minutes and I'll show you the charts. That makes sense. Like I think the challenge is if we commit to like a, a, a time frame. We can't like set a specific date because there are unknown unknowns. Like if we have an issue show up two weeks before, we want to fix the issue rather than have Ethereum go down, even though there's a cost to uh, obviously keep staying on proof of work and and and, and not delaying uh, and delaying the bomb. So I think it's like sure. I don't know, my opinion is like if we do delay the bomb, we should implicitly target some realistic, uh, you know delay which i think is is what thomas's eit was was like attempting to do and we can discuss you know whether five hundred thousand blocks is the right amount this should be four should it be three should it be six um but like for example if we delayed the bomb by like 12 months i agree that would be really bad um i think on the sense of urgency like it's worth noting like on the last call and privately to me like client teams have mentioned that like they do feel pretty stressed and urgent and that like I think there is a fine balance between having a sense of urgency, but just having people be so under pressure that like the quality starts to drop. So I think, yeah, I, I guess to summarize is, yeah. If we do delay this, I think it should be a realistic delay, like to still maintain this, this sense of urgency. Um, but I also want to point out like, I, there is a point where like too much pressure just pushes teams to like burn out or make worse decisions. and. That's also not the situation we want to be in. Um, uh, yeah, Thomas and, and, and TJ. And then I guess if anyone has like final comments, uh, please raise, raise your hand now and we'll do like a final round and, and then wrap up. Uh, but then because we're already at time, uh, we are going to gonna go over a bit. Hey, oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Oh, Bordell. Yeah, please. Yeah, you haven't gone yet. Yeah, we <laughs> we cannot we cannot fight the race hand but <laughs> um. all right they're just going to be us back and forth i want to find those charts for you so stand by as i do this oh look at that let's go back to one there we go there's the chart and this will just give you some more background here all right 
Rock and roll, guys. Yes. Okay, so just to get you where we're at, we're at like 14.7 second blocks here. And if you look over here, you can see it's going to probably be down around 18 to 20 second blocks. I think by the middle of July, maybe the end of July, I'm conservative. So I'm going to say the middle of July, you're going to be at 17 or 18 second blocks. Um, this is another view of the same data, just so we get 14.7 as the current uh, time. There's a couple of scripts out there that are uh, actually inaccurate. They're underestimating the, the effect of the bomb. So this is accurate data as of this moment. So I think there's basically three things we could do. We could delay, remove, or just do nothing. Each of these has different good and bad points. Uh, delaying it gives you time. Obviously, it's hard to delay to an accurate place. And in either, and it looks bad to the community, but that's there's nothing you can do about that. Removing it is also looks bad. It's actually good, I think, because you could make an argument that we no longer need it because this merge is going to happen and it's kind of a sign of confidence in the fact that it's gonna happen. But it might also be interpreted really badly by the community. The third thing is to do nothing and I, that obviously has the very bad out, outcome that you have 20 or 30 second blocks by August. But I think it's actually maybe a good thing because the community, I think of it as hitting the community on top of the head with a stick and saying, hey, you know, the core devs are a great group of people, but the community has to pay attention to the fact that the core devs has the power to make this decision. And um, we can use that to say, you community have to become more involved in these kinds of decisions. It can also be interpreted as a threat. So that's a really bad outcome as well. So what I would do, and nobody asked me, but this is what I would do. I would simply remove it. Uh, the next thing I would do after that is do nothing at all. And the last thing I would do is delay it. Now, I know that's probably not how it's gonna happen. It's probably gonna be delayed. If you delay it, what I would do is I would absolutely make a decision now. I would delay it for a longer time than you think you need. I would make a very loud, very public announcement of a date when you're committing to make the merge. That gives you, like if you do miss the date, you know, if you do yeah. miss the date in three months, you have some flexibility. So and the, th the same exact thing happens if you remove it, you can make a very loud announcement, but I think you need to make an announcement now and I wouldn't try to delay it to a precise place. Okay, well, for, I guess, yeah, first, thanks for, for, for sharing. Um, I do have a couple, like, high-level thoughts. Like, first is, I don't think we uh, should, I don't think we should make a, a merge date announcement by far. Like, I think that will just backfire. Uh, there's no way we, we get it. Um, I, I, yeah, so I don't think announcing the merge date is like in any way uh, uh, like possible option. Um, I think, yeah, it, it might make sense to just like hear, I know Thomas had put together an EIP based on the, the discussions on the previous call. So like it might make sense to, for Thomas to take like a, a couple minutes to, to walk us through that as well. And like the, the reasoning there, um, and that was like for a delay. Um, and then I see there's already a bunch of people with their hands up. So uh, let, let me make one quick point. By making a delay, you're definitely creating a date of a, a merge date because that's what the entire world will think that is. Sure, I I don't, I'm not as concerned with like the perception of it. Like if we delay the bomb two months, four months, six months, whatever, uh, and whatever the commitment we make, like I don't care if there's some articles that say that the merge is delayed to the end of the year. Um, I do think that like us announcing a merge date is, is really bad because it's actually us announcing a merge date. Um, yeah. Okay, um, thank yeah. you. Uh, yeah, Thomas? Hi, yeah, so uh, EIP 5133 was uh, proposed and the calculation is based on uh, the discussion from our last session. Uh, it proposes 500,000 blocks delay, for which peaks stay uh, mid-August, more or less mid-August. 
All right, that's it. They're going to keep talking more deets, more details, folks, more of the details. So anyway, it looks like they're going to do a delay on the bomb. And so summation, keep mining. These guys are, I don't know. There's no real leadership. I understand sense of urgency. They're, they're worried about getting burned out and all this stuff. It's a lot. It's a huge undertaking. It's almost like they're trying to make it into something that it wasn't initially built for. Going from a decentralized proof of work to a POS, it's almost like they should have just made... Again, again, it's Ethereum 2.0. They should have just made it a whole new project. I don't know. Just the way I look at it, keep it simple. It's easier to start from scratch on something as major as this versus trying to uh, shoehorn an existing platform into a new uh, application, a new mission, if you will, going from decentralized to centralized proof of stake. Just my two cents, having been there, done that, years of experience with this crap, uh, not sensing any true leadership they're going through an agenda which is good they are sort of organized on their meeting but you need a strong leader and a strong direction and like the guy did say the guy worried about the carbon is a sense of urgency which is true you got to get something but having a platform already deployed and used by consumers is always tough it's like working on a running engine changing the oil you know or you know like a freaking doctor working on a heart you know you're working on a living patient and you're going to put something out there that could disrupt the whole ecosystem of ethereum yeah just my take uh will they get there who knows they're working on it it's summertime they want to take vacation with their family and if they get burned out they'll go work somewhere else uh yeah but maybe not maybe they have an incentive to get the pos to start staking and make millions on their pre-mined ethereum yeah, so for me, I'm going to keep mining. And for that one Tom Thomas guy, I'm going to make lots of carbon, baby. And I'm going to go put some gas in my big SUV and burn that up and add some more carbon to the air, baby. I love it. So GPU miners, we love carbon. Woo! All right, go forth. Do great things. Keep mining. Keep trying to get your ROI on those damn GPUs. Uh, it's summertime. It's probably the worst time to be mining because the heat, the ambient temperatures. But keep going. I did lose a GPU. I don't know why. I think... It just went, t uh, I can't say, toes up for the cleaner version. And I think it just it's just a crappy card, a gigabyte card. It just fried itself. Uh, I already got a jolt of electricity. Something happened to it. But again, that's where I'm at. Keep mining, guys. There's the update. Hope you learned something. And uh, let me know what you think about all this stuff. And hope I made this quick and dirty uh, for the core content to back up what they're planning gives you their insight and what they're thinking so anyway keep mining thanks for listening hey if you liked the video give it a thumbs up helps the algorithm for my small fledgling youtube channel anyway go for two great things i am out